Madhya Pradesh, a state in northern India. Today, a new life has been brought into the world. It's a girl. She weighs 3,000 grams. The delivery was assisted by an auxiliary nurse midwife, or ANN. In recent years, technical troubles during childbirth have been greatly reduced. Expectant mothers put complete trust in ANMs. After the training assisted by JICA, Japan International Cooperation Agency, the skill and attitude of the ANMs has been enhanced. In the villages in this district, ANMs are supporting the lives of mothers and children. Damo, Madhya Pradesh. This city is a satellite of the JICA assisted reproductive health project. India is the second most populated country of the world. Population stabilization is making progress across the nation. However, there are still areas with high fertility as well as high maternal and infant mortalities. Madhya Pradesh is one of the states where the maternal and infant mortality ratios grossly exceed the national average. In some rural areas, the conditions are serious. Reproductive health measures are particularly important. In 2005, the Government of India launched the National Rural Health Mission, or NRHM, as a vital national program. It aims at reducing maternal and infant mortality through the enhancement of health services in rural areas. JICA's technical cooperation started almost simultaneously with the onset of NRHM and has been conducted within its framework. The Sub Health Center or SHC in Taradehi, a village in the Damo district of northern Madhya Pradesh. Here, the antenatal checkups are carried out regularly by two ANMs. <laughs> Mrs. Lakshmi Panika is the head ANM. She has worked as an ANM for 12 years. Last year alone, she attended over 200 births. <laughs> Lakshmi talks to the pregnant lady in a friendly manner. She feels proud of being an ANM and is highly motivated. मेरे काम से दूसरे खुश होते हैं और मुझे भी खुशी होती है क्योंकि मैं उनकी समस्याओं को हल करती हूं वो जिस चीज के लिए मेरे पास आए हैं उनकी समस्याएं हल होती है तो मुझे खुशी होती है कि मैं सामने वाले का जो भी तकलीफ मैंने उसको दूर किया In the past the tetanus toxoid injection was almost the only service of antenatal care or ANC For that the ANM used to visit house to house now, even the pregnant women from surrounding villages come to visit the SHC. Check 
Improvement of the quality of ANC services covering all the 10 checkup points was the main reason why the pregnant women have changed their behavior. The 10 checkup points include basic measurements of height, weight, and blood pressure. The ANM performs abdominal palpation to check the position of the fetus and listens to the fetal heart sound. Urine examinations for sugar and albumin and blood tests for hemoglobin are also performed. After the examinations, the pregnant woman gets a tetanus toxoid injection and IFA tablets for the prevention of anemia. The last but not least is the counselling on birth preparedness. The poster showing all 10 points of ANC checkups reminds Lakshmi of the in service training organized by JICA. बहुत सहारा मिला है कि जो कुछ मुझे नहीं आता था मैंने उसे सीख कर ये लगा कि हाँ मैं जिस काम के लिए सोचती थी कि इस महिला को उसकी समस्या नहीं समझ पाते थे लेकिन छह दिन की ट्रेनिंग में कुछ ऐसा है कि मैं उसको समझा सकती हूँ उसको बता सकती हूँ उसकी कुछ समस्या मैं हल कर सकती हूँ मुझे इतना लगता है कि हाँ मैं हूँ उस लाइफ की उसकी समस्या दूर कर दूँ The ANC training was conducted from April 2006 to October 2007 at the district training centers of Damol and neighboring Sagar. Around 25 participants attended each six-day training course. They were taught basic technical skills in antenatal care. The curriculum included practical sessions as well as classroom sessions. पहले की थी तो वो ऐसी होती थी और ये छह दिन की तो इसमें मतलब सभी प्रकार से महिलाओं की जांच के बारे में समझाया गया और प्रैक्टिकल भी करवाया गया पहले मतलब ऐसे बच्चों के बारे में एनसी के बारे में भी होते थे पर इतना नहीं होता था और इस बार जो जाए कवाले आए हैं ना तो उन्हें मतलब सभी प्रकार से जांच के बारे में समझाया प्रैक्टिकली मतलब सभी कुछ कि गांव में कैसा क्या करना है In order to ensure the skills gained by ANMs could be implemented immediately after the training course, JICA provided them with some instruments such as hemoglobin test kits and BP apparatus. Using these instruments for practical sessions, the ANMs became committed to applying their new skills to their day-to-day -day services. पहले जैसे एनएम के काम करने में जेजाक रहती थी या कॉन्फिडेंस नहीं रहता था ट्रेनिंग करने के बाद में उसमें कॉन्फिडेंस डेवलप हुआ और वो अपना काम जो है बहुत अच्छे से करती थी वो क्वालिटी में उसके इंप्रूवमेंट हुआ अर्ली रेफरल हुआ और जो एनसी का चेकअप्स वगैरह जितने थे वो रेगुलर होने लगे The training curriculum included theory and practice of midwifery Lakshmi, who underwent the course of skilled birth attendant, remembers one specific topic, the breech delivery. But I didn't know that the delivery of the child would be taken in any way. At that time, the child was lost and finished. That's what I have today. When I come, I think that if I had learned it before, I could have taken the child in the same way. After the training, I knew that if the child is lost, I would have taken the child in any way. That's what I have done. Regretting her lack of knowledge and the consequent death of a baby, Lakshmi was determined not to repeat the same mistake. The training became a turning point in her professionalism. The training course gave the ANM service skills 
However, there was one more thing to learn. How to improve their working environment at sub-health centres. The government of India, through NIHM, provided ANMs with untied funds for improvement of their SHCs. However, few of them had a clear idea what to use it for. Jaika gave consultations to the ANMs. Based on the actual situation of each SHC, Jaika gave advice. जाके के तरफ से हमारे पास जो हैं उनमें से आते रहते हैं बीच बीच में हमारे और हमने उन्हें ने हमें बताया कि किस तरीके से आपको मैनेजमेंट करना है कैसे संभाल लेना है और किस तरीके से आप महिलाओं के बच्चों को और यहाँ पे क्लीनिक लगा सकोगे इस प्रकार से वो आ के हमारे संग सहयोग किए हैं हमें जो एंटाइट फंड मिल रहा है उसी से हम ये सब मैनेजमेंट कर रहे हैं मतलब कि महिलाओं के लिए बच्चों के लिए सब इंटाइट फंड से ही कर रहे हैं हम उसी से हमारा काम भी बहुत अच्छा चल रहा है इंटाइट फंड से In the beginning, the sub-health centers had few instruments. Using the untied funds, the ANMs bought an examination table and curtains and repaired the roof and walls. The ANMs were responsible for creating the environment where they work. Gradually, the ANMs developed their ownership of the SHC and started identifying themselves as managers. The population data posted on the wall shows the magnitude of their responsibilities. मेरा तो ये काम है मैं यहाँ महिलाओं और बच्चों की उनकी उनकी देख मतलब कि उनकी समस्याओं को हल करना उनकी बीमारियों को समझने के लिए यहाँ पर पदस्थ हूँ तो मैं ये सोचती कि हाँ मैं मतलब कि उन सब बातें के लिए बट मेरा तो काम है ये In Madhya Pradesh, like other states in northern India, reproductive and child health is a priority area. In order to tackle this problem, the NRHM has formulated several strategies. Village Health and Nutrition Day, or VHND, is one of them. The objective of VHND is to ensure outreach services in rural areas from where the SHCs are not accessible. The program started in August 2008. Every remote village is supposed to be covered by one VHND per month. Today, Lakshmi is at a hamlet called Bamhori with a population of 800 to conduct the VHND. It is a one-hour drive from Taradehi SHC. Women and children are the main target of VHND. Infants are given vaccines. Some children are given vitamin A. A full ANC checkup with the 10 checkpoints is given to pregnant women, just like at the SHC. There are several remote farming villages like Bamhuri in the catchment area of Taradehi SHC. For many villages, the VHND is the only chance for getting basic health services. In order to complete a series of services in one day, staff members from different departments work together. However, in the initial stages of the VHND, the role of each one was not clear. Lakshmi and other staff members learned from a video program titled How to Conduct VHND. The video shows the tasks to be performed and the role of each staff member. The video shot at actual situations shows the male multi-purpose worker registering clients, 
the ASHA worker taking care of pregnant women and adolescent girls, the Agan Wadi worker from the Department of Women and Child Development weighing children. Amuri team first learned from the video and then applied it to their situation. The male multipurpose worker is at the registration and keeps records of the clients and services given to them. He also administers essential drugs. The ASHA escorts pregnant women and facilitates communication between the service providers and the villagers. The Aganwadi worker from the Department of Women and Child Development and her assistants check the weight of children and provides them with nutritious food. Apart from these services, cooked nutritious food is also provided on VHND. The ingredients for kichri are rice, beans and vegetables. Performed by dedicated staff members who had learned through the video, VNHD has become popular. The combination between health and nutrition will surely contribute to the reproductive health of the people living far from health centers. The Reproductive Health Project in Madhya Pradesh is operated under the administration of the state's Department of Health and Family Welfare. The Damo district has the most numerous health facilities, 163 SHCs, to which most of the villagers have direct access. One level higher, the Primary Health Center, or PHC, a doctor provides medical care. There are nine PHCs in Damo district. Another level higher, there are six community health centers, or CHCs. Each is equipped with 30 beds. At the apex is the district hospital of Damo. To maximize the quality of maternal health care services in the entire district, it is important to assure the quality at each level according to their respective standards. One of the nine PHCs in Damo Located at the tribal village of Sara in the middle of the wilderness, it was selected for piloting quality improvement. The first step was to set up a proper maternity wing. Biomedical waste management using color-coded bins was introduced according to the pollution control standard. Recently, a generator was installed so that delivery can be assisted 24 hours a day. Recognizing the recent improvements of the services, more and more villagers are showing up to the facility. <laughs> In addition to ANC and delivery services, the ANMs of PHC Sara now offer health counselling to the villagers. 
PHC Sada has become a symbol of quality healthcare in rural settings. Sada is the PSC. It's the most interior PSC. When the project started, there was no delivery. There was no staff. In today's history, in the whole city, there was the best PSC in the whole city. जिसमें कोई डॉक्टर नहीं है सब दो स्टाफ एएनएम द्वारा उसे टाइम मेंटेन किया जा रहा था तो मेनली जो स्टाफ नर्स हैं उन लोगों को एक एक्सपोजर से हम लोग ऑब्वियस किया था डिपार्टमेंट की ओर से There are six CHCs in Damore. Tendakeda CHC is one of them. In order to ensure timely referral from PHCs and SHCs. Tundakeda CHC has two ambulances, including one Janani Express, which is used exclusively for pregnant women. This hospital has a ward with 30 beds. The nursing staff work in shifts so that deliveries can be attended to round the clock. At this CHC, the facilities have been renovated by using NRHM funds. Biomedical waste is properly managed. Dr. Gupta, the block medical officer, or BMO, shows us inside the hospital. You know where a lever room is? A lever wing. लेबर विंग है ये यहाँ वन ऑब्जर्वेशन रूम है देन आपको लेबर रूम है और ड्यूटी रूम है This picture shows the arrangement of instruments in the labor room in order to ensure smooth and safe maternal and newborn care The labor room has been maintained accordingly every instrument is ready for use Dr. Gupta takes us to the back side of the hospital. This two deep rubber pit where we found the placenta, all the body tissue and placenta. जो delivery के बाद जो निकलता है placenta वो इसके अंदर जाता है deep rubber pit. Biomedical waste management is usually left behind as nobody's business, but here Dr. Gupta took initiative to make it everybody's concern. एएनसी के लिए चेकअप के लिए हमें कुछ चीजों की आवश्यकता थी वो मिली हमें टेक्निकल बात यदि करेंगे तो जो ट्रेनिंग जो ऑर्गेनाइज की है जायका ने एएनएम को मैडम और स्टाफ नर्स को जो ट्रेनिंग ऑर्गेनाइज की है उस ट्रेनिंग के माध्यम से हमारे जो पेरिफर ऑफ वर्कर जो हैं एएनएम्स जो हैं और मेल वर्कर की वन Inspired by the BMO, nursing staff are very active in quality improvement. They practice continuous quality improvement in order to reduce maternal and infant deaths. They copied the flow chart of emergency obstetric protocol. They designed a poster of large size with a colored pattern. It helps them make quick decisions in the case of an emergency. They also designed a dial showing the relationship between Hindi and Western calendars. Villagers use the Hindi calendar while nurses use the Western calendar for recording and reporting. This dial is a tool for communication. The Janani Express ambulance came back, bringing a mother and a newborn. She gave birth to it in the car. The doctor and the ANM were called into the labor room. Mother and child were brought in. The umbilical cord is still attached to the baby.
resting the mother in the adjacent bed, the A&M takes care of the baby. The umbilical cord is finally cut, but the baby is still voiceless. If it doesn't cry, it won't be able to breathe normally. Much to everyone's relief, the baby finally started crying. The A&M skillfully cleans the baby's body. The baby is brought back to the mother. Next task is to initiate breastfeeding. The mother remains in a dazed state. The baby won't seem to take a nipple. The A&M helps out, and the baby starts to suck milk. जी अक्सर होते हैं गाड़ी में आते हैं तो कभी-कभी मतलब हो ही जाते हैं प्राय दिन में एक दो केस तो हो ही जाते हैं गाड़ी से आने में टाइम लगता है जो जन्नी एक्सप्रेस जाती है तो जन्नी एक्सप्रेस में भी हो जाते हैं कभी घर में हो जाते हैं तो फिर उनको इमरजेंसी होती है तो इसलिए लेके आते हैं नहीं तो फिर उनको तो जन्नी सुरक्षा में लेते नहीं है तो फिर वहीं छोड़ देते हैं द हॉस्पिटल ऑपरेट्स अराउंड द क्लॉक नर्सेस कैरी आउट देयर ड्यूटीज इन अकॉर्डेंस विद देयर ड्यूटी रोस्टर It has become routine for them to hand over the client's status in detail, based on written records. This is a rather new practice which did not exist until recently. An experience made them change. <laughs> अब इसके बाद और कुछ मेडिसिन देना है इसमें अभी तो ठीक है हाँ अभी तो ठीक है तो तो ठीक है तो अच्छा ट्रिप पे यहीं पे चलते हैं ना ट्रिप पे यहीं पे हम ट्रिप समाप्त हो जाते हैं There was a time in this hospital when there were very few doctors due to personnel shuffling. The nurses had to be ready to make clinical decisions by themselves. They organized study sessions among themselves. Once again, they read the textbooks that they used during the training course. When a complicated case was to be attended, off-duty nurses came in to assist the on-duty nurse. These experiences gave them a sense of professionalism. In the continuous process of improvement of the quality of services, they're now working on a specific topic. It is the partograph, or a format in which the process of labor is recorded. By using the partograph, they can make critical decisions such as proper usage of labor-inducing drugs and timely referral of patients to a higher hospital. In the case of complications, the partograph is used to explain to the family and get informed consent. The partograph is useful not only for making the best possible decision, but also for the defense of the decision. Continuous quality improvement is going on in CHC at Tendakeda. It is serving as a model for other CHCs.
The district hospital is located in the middle of the town of Damor. It has linkages with the health centers in the district. Being the general hospital equipped with departments of internal medicine, surgeons and gynecology obstetrics, it serves as the top referral hospital. The district hospital also serves as a center for clinical training for staff nurses and ANMs. The training course for skilled birth attendants, or SBA, is going on. Staff nurses and ANMs, including those who are serving in rural health centers, undergo training. Here, a full course of antenatal care, intranatal care, postnatal care, and newborn care are given in 21 days. और ये सपोर्ट है इससे क्या होगा आपका दबाना है है ना जैसे बेबी आउट होता है तो आपको रुकना है कहीं के लिए वो अपने आप उसके वो अपने आप रोटेट होता है लेफ्ट में या राइट में है ना फिर नीचे का सपोर्ट रुक जा बेटा नीचे का लिंग निकालना है फिर ऐसे नहीं कि ऐसे बेबी को खींचना है इसको सीधा करना है और फिर उसके बाद धीरे-धीरे पूरे बेबी को बाहर निकालना है ठीक है Compared to the ANC training in six days, the curriculum for the skilled birth attendant contains many more topics. However, the basic concept remains the same. The focus is on practical skills that can be immediately applied in the duty stations of the trainees. JICA's technical cooperation extends to the teaching materials and curriculum development. Hands-on training is given by the gynecologist of the district hospital, Dr. Shraddha Gangel. फिर उसके बाद आप जनरल अपीयरेंस देखो है ना मैं लुक कैसी लग रही हूँ ठीक है यसी पुअर है जनरल कंडीशन जो है सामान्य स्थिति वो सेटिस्फेक्टरी संतोष करते हैं फिर उसके बाद आप पेलोर देखते हो पहले पेलोर कहाँ कहाँ देख रहे हैं जी में देख रहे हैं कंजेंटाइवा दोनों दोनों नीचे है ना लोअर कंजेंट यहाँ देख सकते हैं, है ना? और पैरों में देख सकते हैं, ठीक? ये सारी जगह क्या है? पेलेस देखने के लिए कहाँ हीमोग्लोबिन का कंसेंट्रेशन कितना? इसके बाद आपने फंडा डॉक्टर कंगेली यूज़ेस सिंपल वर्ड्स टू हेल्प द ट्रेनीज़ अंडरस्टैंड। सबसे सबसे का फंडा लाइट है। इसके बाद आपने देखा इसका प्रेजेंटेशन क्� इस तरीके से आप रख के देखेंगे। हार्ड है, गोल है और आप उसको हिला सकते हैं तो वो हार्ड है। ये इर्रेगुलर है। देखो यहाँ पर आपको लिंग्स। Trainees use their eyes, ears and hands for diagnosis and treatment. The memories of such practices will not fade. They will be used in their day-to-day practice at their rural health station. हम लोग एफएचएस लेते हैं, बीपी लेते हैं, डिलीवरी कंडक्ट करा रहे हैं, तो हम लोग को फायदे हैं, मतलब कि इससे हम लोग को पता चलता है कि जो लेडीज़ आई है हमारे पास में जो पेशेंट आई है, वो किस स्थिति में है, उसके बच्चे की क्या स्थिति है, पार्ट उड़ा बढ़ते हैं, तो सब पता चल जाता है, मतलब ये ट्रेनिंग के द्वारा हम लोग यहाँ से अच्छे तरीके से सीख कर जाएंगे और वहाँ पे मतलब कि इस चीज़ को करेंगे तो वहाँ के ग्रामीण लोगों को तो उतनी वो रहता नहीं है तो हम लोग मतलब मात्र मृत्यु दर को कम कर सकते हैं वहाँ पे शिशु मृत्यु दर को कम कर सकते हैं और अच्छी तरीके से डिलीवरी करवा सकते हैं तो ग्रामीण इलाके में जो मतलब बिना डॉक्टर्स के रह रहे हैं तो अच्छे से उनका ट्रीटमेंट हो सकता है इससे हमें बहुत अच्छा लगता है 
Let's look at an SHC where an ANM who went through both ANC and SBA training courses is stationed. Gesabad village has 800 households. A senior ANM has managed the SHC for 36 years. Ms. Lakshmi Tanda, age 58. Lakshmi attended both the ANC course in 2006 and the SBA course in 2009. The training courses gave her confidence and commitment. Lakshmi now shares her skills with her junior staff. उसकी आई देखो कि ब्लड की कमी तो नहीं है हार्मोन्स कम तो नहीं हो रहे हैं इसके क्या बाद में कोई परेशानी मुसीबत आ जाए अपन को देखना है और आयरन की गोली खाने को लिए रोज प्रेरित करना उसके रोज एक गोली खाए उसके घर में जो कुछ पांच किस्म की दालें हैं पांच किस्म की दाल को हफ्ते में दो बार बना के खाए Lakshmi wants the villagers to be able to give birth safely even when she has left Devoted to her profession, Lakshmi always thinks about the life of the villagers. For the postnatal care and checking the condition of babies, she goes to their house. These twins were born a few days back. After a quick glance, Lakshmi looks concerned. She says the mother is not eating well, so her milk is drying up, which affects the infants. Lakshmi visits another house to see a newborn delivered just two days ago. This time Lakshmi's face brightens up.
ठीक है हम जहाँ प्यार की नहीं समझाती हैं <laughs> Lakshmi has earned the deep trust of the villagers. Everyone treats her like their own family member. When Lakshmi walks through the village, a crowd of people quickly gathers. During the 36 years of her service as an ANM in the village, Lakshmi has attended the birth of almost everyone who lives there. In the district of Damor, with a population of around 5 million, there are thousands of villages like Gesabad and hundreds of ANMs like Lakshmi. ANMs reside in the rural areas. They are working in the front line of NRHM, fighting for the improvement of health status in rural India. But they are not working alone. They belong to the state health system from which they get various support, such as technical, financial, administrative, and strong moral support. JICA is working together with the State Department of Health and Family Welfare for the enhancement of the supporting system, through which nurses and ANMs could provide quality services to the people.